pretty swanky pad for a media's pocket. Back in my day, the press lived in fucking roach closets. Lockups both ways. Hmm. What's this? Really, dickweed. That looked like a bamboo to you. Kiss my ass. Well, well. Right. Let's see what's here. No. Oh, interesting. Fuck. Scan that. Militech logo, 2010s. Cart's gotta be at least 60 years old. Didn't find that in a kabuki bargain bin. Makes me think. What's this Bree chick up to? Hey, you're not Bree. I'm not. What are you doing here? Water in the bamboos. You? Standing in the doorway. Why the sass, kid? I, uh, heard some noise. I thought maybe Bree was back. Been a while since I've seen her. I'm next door. Thought I should come take a look. Got some dodgy chooms hanging around the building lately. What sort of chooms? Dunno. Definitely don't live in the building. Looked kind of like small town gangoons. N not even. Yeah. Just thugs. Just tell Bree to take care of herself here. <laughs> Look around.
chill. You hired me. Said to meet here. You get the card? Not another step. This what you wanted? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry, but uh, you know, I can't trust anyone. Great, give me the card. We'll go inside. Shouldn't remain in plain sight. Not overdoing it with the caution? You even listening to me? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, let's see if this does the trick. As far as I know, nobody's been here in the last decade. And the systems date back to 2013. Fingers crossed. <sighs> We're in. Some of the security measures might still be active, so you go first. Got turrets, but they're offline. Come on in. Shit. Card's not working. Hang on. Let me see if there's another route. This way. Let's go. We've been lucky so far, but watch out. Can't know what these old systems will do. Your face! Scanner didn't recognize you! Holy shit! now well at least we know the security is still up and running Comp looks brand new. Just this one. Told you. A Militech research expedition came here a few years back. I probably left it behind. Keep it up. Phew. We're almost there.
Can't have bad luck all the time. We made it. The mainframe. The host. Unbelievable. There's even files from the third corporate war here. Yeah. Militech was tap dancing on its tits trying to keep Sokka from pushing him off the stage. <sighs> Shit. The oldest ones are encrypted. But wait. There's some newer footage. Dated 2068. Must be when they came back. Come here. Take a look. Yeah. Okay, it's recording. Senior Research Specialist Evan McCray, this is day three of our expedition. We've moved some equipment to the bunker. The old rail system remains largely functional. They might have used it to transport heat exchangers from the lab once upon a time. There is a mountain of old research here. I'll see if we can find a use for any of it. The bastards were trying to reopen the project. Well, Caesar managed to... Huh? Oh, right. Uh, uh, day 39. Thanks, thanks, Lisa. Hear that? They wanted to breach the Black Wall. Day 50, 5 -0. We received orders from HQ to shut down and return home. Uh, they say we're not safe here anymore. Caesar's packed us. We await Lisa's return. The poor thing's been in the bunker for two days. Jacked in. Or is it three? She... She just won't come out. She's trying to download the data from the fortresses, but... But we can't have to take it with us if she does. Now that's it. I'm gonna get her, Caesar. Shit! This is bigger than I thought. Militech using some rogue AI to augment their old weaponry? This is huge. Yeah. Militech and some secret weapon. Street's been saying it for ages. Usually between worlds ending on Tuesday and Bart Moss is hibernating in a fridge. Look, if it mattered, would have been old news years ago. Kidding me? You hear about Soul Killer? Now imagine a similar project, only Militech's pushing the buttons. These things change the world. And not for the better. At least not for people like us. Like other peeps haven't tried to contact Blackwall AIs. Failing to see the big break there. Look, Voodoo Boy's poking at the Blackwall is one thing. But one of the world's most powerful megacorps weaponizing a wild AI? Infinitely worse. When people learn Netwatch is busy hunting ordinary Joes while giving the megacorps free reign, imagine the outcry. So we got it. Grab what you need, let's Delta. Dante! What the? Howdy, Bree. He's me once, won't do it again. Who the hell are you? Really? Come on out. Thanks, V. I mean it. Was supposed to be your hustle, so I was. Don't care to talk deeds. Good. Bet he had loads of people like me on his conscience. But hey, I survived. And I'm gonna milk this chance for all it's worth. Can't wait to read the article. Mm-hmm. You'll be the first to know when it's ready. And then I'll take a long vacation. Far, far away from anyone wanting to find me. Killer corporates especially. 
really helped me out, V. You go ahead. I'll grab the rest of the files myself. Ah, at last. I lacked the time to brew tea. My apologies. Face to face again? What's changed? Everything. And that's what we'll discuss. Kurt Hansen. A man of many hats. A criminal, dog of war. To mine eye, an entrepreneur. And business suffocates in a vacuum. Vultures circle the Colonel's corpse already. The Enterprise he built must choose a new leader. We will make certain they choose correctly. The Shard, please insert it. Let me guess. Got a successor all lined up, don't you? Lieutenant Colonel Bennett, one of Hansen's most loyal, commands respect, is capable of rallying a strong base. The logical choice, this gentleman soldier. Alas, he has competition. A man named Yago. He's starting from a lower rung, but has high aspirations. He's already begun seeking outside support from the Voodoo Boys. You will meet with Yago. You will convince him to back down. Okay, I'll handle that. No, you won't. But Aguilar will. Uh, you lost me. Hansen remained on top because he had the contacts to stay afloat. Most important among them was a Cuban cartel. Enter Aguilar, a merc assassin from Havana. A living legend. Every time someone in Havana lights a cigar, Aguilar extinguishes a life somewhere around the globe. I'm lucky to have her behavioral imprint on hand. You're lucky to have experience with the tech already. Let me summarize. Need me to assume Aguilar's identity? Have a chat with Yago. Talk him out of any silly ideas he might have. Child's play. Okay. All's crystal. I prepared a shard with humble intelligence. Also a weapon. The same Aguilar uses. Help yourself to both. Interesting piece of iron. Custom made. A unique and highly persuasive tool. Mm -hmm. Time to kick the tires, V. Suit up and take the imprint for a whirl. difference. My time's precious, Hans. If these don't work, you'll need to find ten new digits or aim for a rebrand. Hmm. Better than expected, V. Or rather, Aguilar. You'll make a strong impression on Yago, too. A trusted source tells me he's to meet soon with a delegation of the Dogtown wow. Voodoos. I'll forward the coordinates. I care not at all for how you handle the Gangoons. <laughs> As you will. I have only one request. Yago withdraws his candidacy. Once you've shown him reason, call me. And remember... My district's future is riding on this. Don't worry. Won't disappoint. That is the hope. Good luck.
Allez, ça c'est pas territoire. I have good news. We will talk. I will not shed your blood. A very good deal. Moi fout ta bête où? Va au monceau là dedans. Gotta wait for the man. Out in the open. Ah, want a face-off, do you? Aguilar, you saucy senorita. There they are. Gonk's got no clue what's coming. Think I'm gonna shed a tear. Something ain't right, boss. And you are her. I have a message for you. Who from? From my superiors in Havana. Do you remember them? Aguilar. It's you. We know of your plan to oust Bennett. We know of your new allies. The Voodoo Boys? Poor choice. My superiors follow Christ, Yago. I... I never intended any disrespect. What happens now? Would you follow in your co-conspirator's footsteps? No, of course not. Aguilar, please. It's not what you think. May I explain, at least? Very well, but be quick. Bennett is an Arasaka pawn. They courted him until he cracked. Then they waited. They needed the Colonel to die. I don't know what they promised him, but I do know what they want. Control of Dogtown. You have proof of Bennett's deception, I trust. Know where to find it? He goes to the city center often, Republic Way. The building's a front, occupied by a dummy corp owned by Arasaka. As to Bennett's biz there, ask him, press him. You'll see him, right? Please pass my gratitude along to your superiors. Let's go. Plot thickens. Once they're gone, uncloak for your face melts like Scott Chaco. Just getting started, Johnny. Guess you ought to keep hands in the loop. Or... We could see what his favorite son's cooking up with fucking Arasaka. After all, Dogtown's future hangs in the balance. Well played, Aguilar. High five, mi hermana cubana. As indeed. Also, Voodoo Boys are out of the equation. Splendid. Have you anything else to add? Actually, yeah. Yago claims Bennett and Arasaka are fucking. A man with his balls in a vice makes many interesting sounds. A fixer, however, 
separates fact from the spewings of a panicked soul. My concern now, not yours. Still, I thank you for telling me. When now? Time to pay tribute to the Fallen. Aguilar will attend Hansen's funeral service and ensure a smooth transfer of power. Uh-huh. Sounds like you expect trouble. Such events can trigger geysers of raw emotion. No two people grieve alike, and rarely rationally. Ceremony and Wake both at the Black Sapphire. Aguilar should enter without a hitch. Got it. Leroy more. Vive Leroy. Good luck, V. to go. Don't ask why. So, you ready? Cuban cartel here. Aguilar, in honor for all of us. Take me to Bennett. He came with extra security. Got a bad feeling. This is Bennett. <clears throat> Lieutenant Colonel Bennett. There is a matter we must discuss. 
You're dismissed. Havana's will has not wavered. Dogtown needs a strong leader. One who is capable of protecting our shared interests. That leader will be Bennett. The people here heed his words. As will you, Yago. Oh, until when? Until you leave town and he's free to stab me in the back? I want names, contacts, connections. Your informants in the NCPD, everyone on your payroll. Ridiculous. You will prove your loyalty to me. It's a fair price. You will pay it. Hansen would say, only the weak make concessions. Keep the Colonel's name out of your mouth. You snip at each other like two crazy chihuahuas. Is this what your Colonel would want? Were he still alive, his choice would be swift. Yago to keep his place in rank, the right hand to Lieutenant Colonel Bennett as leader. Am I wrong? Alongside your Colonel, in this very coffin, you will bury the hatchet. This is Dogtown's only path forward. Hmm. That... could work. We have a deal. Hope I won't regret it. Havana has eyes everywhere. Behave, both of you. All of you. Or I'll be back. Get to green. Dog eat dog world, I guess. What's that make dog town? A warning to you, Silverhand, one you will heed. Michael Maldonado? V. Hand said you needed a... a hand or something. Oh, it's you. Over here. Let's talk. Glad you could make it. Fixer said you can turn around even the most hopeless of cases. How hopeless we talking? It's about my son, Eric. Boy runs a motorcycle repair shop in Haywood. Totally legit operation. Taxes, permits, you name it. But this DA, Georgina Zembinski, she needs her pound of flesh. Wants to turn him into an exemplar. That's where you come in. Why would she have it in for him? There's gotta be a reason. She's the DA. If she wants a reason, she'll find one. 
Zeminski said she's after some Valentino kingpin. Hector Sacristan was the name, I think. What's Eric got to do with it? Word is he knows Sacristan. Has heaps of dirt that could bring him down. But for that, she needs Eric behind bars. So, she forced me to testify. Now I need you to make it go away. You testified against your own son? What kind of father does that? It ain't like you think, okay? I... I really didn't want to. She showed me her so-called evidence against Eric. Wanted me to corroborate it. It was bullshit, every last word. Two days later, came back with some badge. Beat the shit out of me, threatened worse for Eric. Then they... Put me in front of a camera and I... I told them what they wanted to hear. I was fucking scared. Just go talk to her. You know, the way you people do. Eric's a good kid. He'll get eaten alive in prison. Not if I have anything to say about it. Gonna find her. Have ourselves a little chat. Ah. That's a relief. No hands would entoss me some bush leaguer. You'll find her at the Heavy Hearts Club. Perfect place for plotting and scheming. And you know that how? That's where she invited me for a... heart to heart. Looking for a customer of yours? DA Georgina Zimbinski. No one? Can't say I do. But if she's some kind of big shot, probably find her in the booth. Have to ask Jack, though. And him you'll find in the can. As in, like, the shitter? That can? Mm-hmm. Where he does his biz. Where the magic happens. Maybe he'll know her. Uh, okay. Thanks. Listen, Jack, that Biotechnica suit's supposed to come tomorrow. You know, Sunflower Guy. Hey, what's good? Looking for something? Looking for someone. Girl tending bar told me you're the go-to. Nah. Helen needs to learn to keep her trap shut. Georgina Zimbinski, Night City DA. Ring any bells? Nah. I could call upstairs and ask, though. You do that? Oh, slow down. Times it is and all that jazz. Do you get what I'm saying? There. Don't make me regret it. Hey, no risk, no reward, right? Hey, baby. I'm looking for a clan of ours. Georgina Zimbinski. Yeah, right. Okay, thanks. My girl saw her. Say she's schmoozing with some heavy hitters. Booth four. I'll check it out. Thanks. Okay, let's see. Show me. Interested or not? Hello, Georgina Zempinski. Hey. Careful with that one. Lawyers are not to be trusted. There are any kinds of people worthy of your trust? Of course. Sound technicians. What are you doing?
Carter. Told you those pops wasn't the music. Georgina Zimbinski? Need to talk to you, you about Michael Maldonado. That drunk? What about him? Claims he was forced to testify against his son. Need you to wipe it. He wants me to... That cowardly two-faced sack of shit. See? Told you he couldn't be trusted. What exactly did he tell you? Your goon here forced Mike Maldonado to testify. I think she means you, Hank. Did you do any shock therapy on Mr. Maldonado recently? Yeah, like I don't got better things to do. Kidnapping, extortion, arson, armed robbery. Guess whose rap sheet that is? Eric Maldonado is textbook ganger scum. He belongs in prison. We just needed someone to help him get there. His father, Michael, didn't think twice about choosing Eddie's over his lowlife son. It's Mike's word against yours. Unlike mine, his is worthless. Maldonado doesn't care about his son. He's scared Eric will find out it was his old man who snitched on him. Of course, I can make it so that never happens. I'm listening. Why don't you watch Michael's testimony first? Witness the truth yourself. Final question. On May 16th of last year, Eric Maldonado contacted you by holocall. During a conversation, he admitted that Hector Sacristan shot and killed Marcos Ferreira. He also stated that Sacristan ordered Ferreira's body to be dumped in the Coronado Bay. Can you confirm this is what Eric told you? I... Yes. Yes, I confirm. Excellent, thank you. That will be all. Michael didn't bat an eye when he accepted payment for that testimony. Real entrepreneur. I'll cut right to the chase. I'm offering to anonymize Michael's testimony. Eric will never be the wiser. And if I refuse? Wouldn't advise it. Wouldn't be, uh, safe for you. Fine, deal. Don't trust you, but that goes double for Mike. And done. Testimony's anonymous now. Your client can sleep easy. Ah, <sighs> well then. Everyone wins. Except for Eric, of course. Long as my client's happy. We're done. Now leave. Come <laughs> on.